Hello, I'm Barbara. Today we'll be painting an easy animal. I'll be using the Wacom Intuos tablet and Artridge Light. I'm using the pencil tool and creating a sketch to begin. I'm using very simple shapes to sketch an owl. Next, we'll outline in ink. Let's add a layer, bring it below and switch to the ink pen tool. Select the smoothed inking preset. Change smoothing to 40% and follow your sketch. I'll bring smoothing up to 80% for the moon. A slightly larger tooltip for the telephone lines. These go on a new layer. We can use the eraser to bring the wing and feet into the foreground. No softness and pressure to 100%. I'll pick the watercolor brush, bring a new layer below the rest and choose a dark blue. Keeping my tooltip at 200%. I'll just cover the whole area first, using long strokes starting off canvas. Next, I'll clean up my moon, stars and owl using the eraser. Softness zero, pressure all the way up. This will give us a very sharp edge. I'm adjusting my tooltip size depending on the area. For these smaller stars, using the zoom helps a lot. To zoom, I'm using the buttons on the upper right of my tablet. Next, let's add a layer. Go back to the brush tool, pick a really dark blue and paint our trees. I'll shrink my tooltip now and do a second pass. Let's do a little cleanup with the eraser. I'll add a layer, pick a pale yellow for the stars and moon and start to paint. We can turn off the sketch layer now. I like the effect it gives when you leave just a little white on the edges here. To undo, I'm using the bottom left button. For the face of the owl, let's use a light brown. I'm moving the stylus in tiny circles to darken the area around the eyes. And a smaller tooltip for the beak. I'm using a warmer tone for the body. My brush strokes follows the natural direction of the wing. A smaller tooltip and darker color for the feet. For feathers, I pick a similar tone. Use the dried strokes preset, turn InstaDry on, adjust my thinners and set my tooltip to 100%. Watercolor is additive so these strokes will be darkened by the layer beneath. I'm using a flick of the wrist to achieve these narrowing brush strokes. I'll switch colors and continue on the owl's chest, then add a bit of shadow around the edges. I'll duplicate our ink layer and change its blend mode to shadow. I like this darkness better, but just for the owl to make it stand out. I'll switch to the eraser and get rid of everything but the owl on this layer. One more layer, we'll add a little white to the eyes. With that bit of highlight, 
I think we're done. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks so much for watching.